Um, I just came back from Australia. I was there for about three weeks. I was asked to give a special lecture by Direct Selling Australia. That's why I was there. The lecture went well. Let me tell you what I spoke about. They say that the direct sales industry is a big business. Uh, I started the lecture by saying that I didn't really agree with that. A lot of people who are in network marketing say that this business is a big business. I'm sure you've all heard that sometime before. On the individual level, this is true. If a person who has no special knowledge or any capital can make up to $50,000 to $100,000 a month, then that is actually a big business. However, if you see network marketing uh, from the industry as a whole, it's not really a big business. Network marketing has a history of about 60 years. Walmart, a distribution company that was established after that, has a revenue of $500 billion. Other companies, such as Alibaba and Amazon, have over $200 billion in revenue, though they were established much later. These other distribution companies make hundreds of billions of dollars. Why then is the biggest network marketing company only able to rake in $10 billion a year? Why then do we call this industry a big business industry? That is why I said that we are not a big business. I wanted everyone to think about why it was that network marketing was behind all these other companies. The reason why network marketing companies could not really grow much compared to these other very big companies is because of our very specialized nature. Because of our commission model, consumers will buy the products even though the products might be a little expensive. And because the products are sold, even though the products are not affordable, network marketing companies tend not to focus too much on affordability. That is why I said that we needed to change this trend. Within a distribution business, the consumers are going to buy a product with the same quality at a lower price. So we need to answer the question, did the consumers buy the products because they really needed the products? Or did they buy the products, even though they were expensive, only to receive a commission? If the consumers buy the product for that latter reason, then this is a form of investment. However, in investing, one might reap profits more than the principal amount, or one might lose all the money invested. A lot of people make an investment to ensure the opportunity to make money. There are people who take the opportunity for investment. However, the reality is that there are more people who lose their money than those who make profits off of their investments. In the conference, mm, there were some board members of the Australian DSA. There were 200 representatives and leaders who were present. So I told them, look, let's just be real with each other. I believe that network marketing and the direct sales business does not need to be so insignificant. 
If our industry is able to compete with discount stores in price and compete in quality with luxury malls, this means that the consumers can profit by buying our products. This is because the value that they receive will be higher than the price they pay for the products. This is the principle of interest of consumers. The most basic thing in making a transaction is that a transaction must be made according to the consumer's interest. Consumers will purchase the products if the value of the product outweighs the value of money that is at hand. And the company sells the product because the money has more value to them. Thus, a transaction happens under the principle of mutual interest. You can read this in textbooks for management and marketing. The fact that consumers still purchase the products, even though they are more expensive, can be a strength, but it has also become the industry's weakness. Due to this easygoing attitude and managing the businesses, though some are able to reap profits, most people become victims as they lose their money. Then those who leave this industry talk badly about network marketing. This actually creates a social risk and harms the industry in the long run. In this context, I introduced to them about Atomy's state. Atomy's purchase ratio is way over 40%. And after paying 35% of the sales and commission, the company is still able to make a profit because Atomy's management and the marketing expenses are so low. Atomy actually spends 10% of its revenue on marketing expenses. About 3% of that is for commission paid for credit cards. Another 3% is the cost for delivery expenses, which amounts to about 6% if you add these two together. This means that we are only using 4% of the total revenue to manage the company, including the salaries of our employees. Do you think we are on the plus or minus for an event like today? Honestly, all of these events are quite costly. None of the participants are required to pay anything during one-day seminars. That means all of the expenses, including rent for such events, are covered by Atomy. And even with such expenses, that's only 4% of the total revenue. However, there are companies that spend 40% of their revenue on marketing expenses in order to make their consumers buy their products, even if they are expensive. Such are poorly managed companies. On average, companies spend over 25% of their revenue. We need to be an industry that cuts these costs. It must profit the consumers just by buying the company's products. A $2 toothbrush must be sold for 99 cents. In pharmacies, the same toothbrush might cost three or even $4. Since Atomy sells it for 99 cents, the consumers benefit as soon as they buy the product, even without the commission. If network marketing companies do a consumer-oriented marketing, network marketing's potential will have no end. And I said that network marketing could even be in the trillions. A lot of people at the conference received my lecture positively. From now on, the world's direct sales market will be shaped like that of Atomy's model. Companies that follow Atomy's footsteps will survive. But companies that don't will all collapse. It is my firm belief that Atomy will lead the world's direct sales market. I had a deep desire for many direct sales companies to rise up alongside Atomy. I don't only want Atomy to do well. Even at such a busy time, I went to Australia and I encouraged the leaders so that we could go together hand in hand. I didn't just say these things in Australia.
When the leaders of the Korean direct sales companies gathered, I told them I would disclose Atomy's know-how of how to sell products at such a low price and what kind of expenses are incurred in the company. I told them I would show them through our data how much sales are incurred by each individual contractor on a daily basis. I told them that they would be able to evaluate by looking at the data whether such numbers were produced due to the consumers buying the products for the commission or if it was purchases caused organically by the consumers. I showed all that data to them. Many people acknowledge that Atomy's way is the right way. I expect a great reform to take place in the direct sales industry. I am saying it again, a reform is inevitable. Right now, the trend amongst businesses is the platform business. The platform businesses in Korea are playing the chicken game. Companies are engaging in war with one another by lowering prices. They are trying to kill off the competition to make a monopoly. And when they do, then the company will raise the price to reap profits. They are all playing a dangerous chicken game. The fact that Atomy is growing in this context, I believe to be a miracle. Let's say one company succeeds in monopolizing the market. Sooner or later, that company will have to raise their price in order to cover the previous losses incurred. This will be favorable to Atomy. Why? Because Atomy will have an advantage in terms of price. Regardless of this outcome, Atomy will continue to grow. I am actually eyeing the model that will come after platform business. Uh, as most of you know, I launched an online shopping mall called IamKorea.com in 1999. I was not able to receive any investment, so it failed. Amazon and Alibaba, which started around that time, were able to expand. I was not able to survive the Death Valley. I had to move to a rundown apartment. What do you think was on my mind? Do you think I thought about doing this platform business again? No way. Since the world changes constantly, this platform business will also collapse because of the next coming business model. So, I thought about the weaknesses of the current platform business. If the weaknesses of the platform business can be complemented, then I was confident that a new model could be developed that could surpass the platform business model. After thinking about this for three years, I saw the potential in the network marketing model. In theory, the network marketing business has the DNA to beat the platform business model. But I realized that there was not a single company in this world that managed their company according to sound principles and values. Have you seen a network marketing company that is winning by competing with discount stores such as Walmart? Or have you seen a network marketing company that does not fall behind in terms of product quality? Why do network marketing companies talk so much about their products? Why are people constantly talking about their products? They are trying to prove why their products are the best. Are there no network marketing products that can sell on their own merits? In Atomy, we don't need to talk much about our 99 cent toothbrushes. If you just offer someone a 99% toothbrush, they will buy it. If toothpaste is 290, then it doesn't matter what's inside. There's nothing harmful in here. It's a good product. Try it. That is all you need to say. And after using it just once, since the price and quality are good, then the consumers will repurchase it. That is why Atomy could be a company where 92% of its members are simply consumers. I believe that there is no network marketing company such as this in all of the world. But 
This basic condition is not followed by other companies. The consumer will try the product and they will introduce it to others. Why do the consumers buy the products? Because they're good and affordable. And if they introduce these products to others, they receive a commission in the place of marketing expenses. Theoretically, this model has no flaws whatsoever. Purchase must occur because of the product's quality and price. However, many companies keep adding other conditions. You must spend $2,000 in the beginning in order to join. You will be given an opportunity to earn more money if you invest money now. Because of these conditions, the consumers buy expensive products. Don't buy Atomy's products if they're expensive or have bad quality. If the product is not competitive, we will kill that product. This way, we will be able to deliver products that the consumers love. Even when our company tries to produce the best product at the lowest price, there may be a situation where the consumers are not satisfied. There might be a slight chance of this, then don't buy that product. These kinds of products must be banished from Atomy. However, many network marketing companies are pressuring their consumers to try out all the different products. I believe if network marketing companies follow the sound principles of network marketing, it will be able to complement the weaknesses of platform businesses. I saw this potential and that is why I believe Atomy's business model can grow as the upcoming solution for businesses. I started Atomy at a very unfavorable time. There is another problem coming towards us now. As AI technology and social media influence are becoming greater, many traditional jobs are disappearing. I think everyone can agree to this. Yes, it is important for you to prepare your life after retirement. But also, many of you here today must have a sense of calling. I believe that network marketing will be able to contribute in alleviating the problems of unemployment amongst the youth and the elderly. I believe we have that potential.